Hey everybody, welcome to the channel today. Very excited, something special. Special report, special episode. We're going to Amoeba in Hollywood. Amoeba Records, music shop in Hollywood. Uh, I love this shop. Literally, this is like one of my favorite places to go. Here's the story. 17 years ago, divorced man in between wives living uh, I was living down in LA I heard about this shop in Hollywood called Amoeba Records and I went to it and literally 17 years later it's my favorite shop I've taken my kids there we go there for like their birthday anytime I'm in Hollywood or LA we always stop at Amoeba to grab stuff there's been there's been times when I was mostly focused on the movies and I, on the second floor, I'd just be up there looking through DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, and then there were times when I was into CDs and the music. And right now, as many of you know, I'm really into vinyl. So I got back into the record player thing. And so the last couple of years, uh, you know, I've, I've been kind of doing the vinyl deal and really enjoying my new uh, turntable, the Fluence RT82 which there's a video about that. Oh, shit. Sorry. Boy, that was... No, not again. This is happening. Oh, great. Ah. Okay. That was kind of wild. Uh, <laughs> so we're heading down there. I'm in Ventura. We're heading down to Hollywood. It is noon. We're gonna go check it out. I heard it's like four four block line, and uh, we'll just see what we can do. But I'm really excited. I have my little list of records specifically I want to get. Now here's the thing. I'm not just gonna go buy a bunch of brand new records. Really, I'm looking for used records because I'm all about the pennies, the dollar dollars. So if I can get a record used, I will do it. So I'm really going to see their use section and there might not be a use section because it's been closed because of the pandemic. So this store is reopening at a new location. It was on Sunset. It's been there for decades. The developer or the owner rather of that lot said, we're kicking you out. We're going to tear it down and build these high rise luxury apartments. Go figure. So they kicked them out. And I mean, you've been looking for a new spot. Well, evidently, we found a new place only like four blocks away. So that's the great news. Um, it is a little smaller, so we're going to go check it out. We're going to see how smaller it is. They said they got most of the merchandise still there. I'm not a big fan of all these t-shirts. I looked at the map floor. It's like, really? You're a record shop, but you got to have, you know, uh, a third of your store for freaking shirts? It just seems odd. I mean, uh, same thing with the comic shops and pops or the, you know, the magic gathering cards. It's just, um, it pays the bills. So from a business standpoint, I get it. The merchandise sells more, but I don't know. As a purist, I'd rather just have a shop of records or CDs, cause that's whatever. Anyway, um, I'm really excited. I've been thinking about this well, I've been thinking about this for a while because we didn't know when it was coming back. But then I heard about a week and a half ago that it was coming back today. And I'm like, oh, it's it's on. I'm taking time off. We're doing this. So I'm excited to go and check it out. So that's my preamble. Let's see how the line is. We're here. It's uh, 1.30. An hour and a half to get here. I think we're going to Comic-Con. Uh, it's a huge line. It's definitely a couple blocks long at least. Uh, but I got time to to find my way and uh, let's take this. Is this what I want to take? I don't really know. I think we'll take the elevator. We'll figure out what the heck to do and uh, we'll go get in line. So here we are. Are we these train spots in there? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, so I'm at the very end of the line. It's a good four blocks. It's pretty long. It's 1.30. We'll see how long this takes me to get there, but we are, it is a long, it's long. Uh, we'll see, this is crazy. And I could just get this on Amazon, that's the question, right? <laughs> okay, we're at, we're at uh, four hours waiting in line. It's really sunny right now. Been waiting for four hours and we probably have at least one more hour I would say. Maybe even more. So I'll probably have maybe an hour in the shop. Maybe an hour and a half. And that's about it, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, it's just it is what it's a sunny day here in Hollywood. It's a little warm. Uh, and we'll see what they got. So I'm excited to show you guys. This is it. This is what we're doing. Okay, so update. Um, I've been in the car, I've been in the line for almost five hours and uh, I'm going back to the car real quick to drop my jacket off. They said that I might not get in. They said that our group might get cut off and we only have basically an hour left. So I've been here all day and I might not even get to go. But we're gonna try. We're not giving up, darn it. from this well we learned that uh, you know you can do all you can do and sometimes you just don't get it <laughs> I'm here at the Shake Shack right across the street from Amoeba which I cannot enter because I missed it by about five minutes literally I was there from 1 30 until 7 30 and uh, they closed it up I was there till 7 45 and still needed a couple people in and then they just said that's it no more so I, they gave me a little consolation prize. I got a little poster here, the Amoeba poster. So it's just a seven, eleven by it's uh, what is this? Eleven by seventeen. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm bummed because I don't get down to LA that much. I don't have a way to get down here that often nowadays. So a little trickier to come, but um, it was an adventure. And we will do some record diving somewhere else. Maybe we'll go to Salzer's. So unfortunately, that was that was the that was the video. <laughs> it's kind of a fail. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm here in front of Salzer's in Oxnard. Uh, we're going to a record store, darn it. Okay, I might have been denied Amoeba, but I'm gonna buy some records and I'm gonna show you what I bought because. This is actually a pretty good record shop, and we're gonna do it, and uh, that's how we roll. Okay, we were successful to a degree. I have a big list, but a lot of it's kind of obscure, hard to find, definitely not used stuff. I got a couple things. Let's go back to the uh, HQ, and uh, let's see what I got at my 
Amoeba grand opening, not grand opening, entering the little day. Some things to know about me. I will not be deterred. I am relentless, okay? Yes, I drove to freaking Los Angeles. Yes, I waited in line for six hours. I did not get into Amoeba Records. But is that gonna stop me? No, 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 because it's Saturday. And I rode my Super 73 electric bike, that little bad boy, to the Oxnard uh, record shop, which I haven't been to in forever. And I got some records, damn it, because I'm not going to be deterred. I did not get to go to Amoeba Records. I ain't going back. I will go back. <laughs> but I said, you know what? I'm going to get some records. So I got a couple things. To be honest, I like used records. I'm cheap. I like used I like used stuff. So I'm all about getting those deals. So some of these are brand new. Not super thrilled about that. I had this big list. I couldn't find any of the hip hop I wanted or the electronica. I couldn't find most of anything. I got a couple things that I'm excited about, but I really wanted to like go crazy. Not happening. So eBay might be the way to go. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, I know, I don't have it. I've got two, I've got four. I don't have this one. Uh, and I need to get it because it's epic. It was 26, which is about right for, for this record. Um, I am excited. This has so many good songs in it. I thought two was the best, but this is really good. So I'm really excited about getting some Led Zeppelin. It's a classic. I mean, you got to have Led Zeppelin. Okay. I've been looking for the Postal Service forever. I listened to it when it first came out on CD. This gal gave it to me at work. I worked with. I loved it. Um, but now that I got back into vinyl, I'm like, oh, I need to get this. I am. This is the first one I'm going to play. I'm very excited about this. And it's 18 bucks, which actually is not bad. You can't find this on eBay. It's been out of print. The 10th anniversary versions of Postal Service is like super expensive. So I'm excited to get this. So it was, it was cheaper than I thought it would be. It's brand new. Uh, very excited about this album. If you don't know Postal Service, it's it's uh, the guy who was in uh, the guy who's in Death Cab for Cutie and this other gal. I think her name is Jerry or something with a J. Um, great album. Very excited. Postal Service. Give up. Here's kind of one I'm not sure about, but I really like Fella Cootie, and this is Anti Blast, right? Yeah. Antibalas. Antibalas is that kind of Cuban fusion funk jazz stuff that I really like with kind of African beat to it. Um, I'm excited about this, but this is like a random. I spent $22, not something I do, but I'm just going by the name and I'm hoping I'm not going to get jacked. So we'll see. This was a little like more of a, not an impulse, but I felt like this is one a little harder to get, man, maybe. Then we got some used stuff. Uh, very excited to get John Lennon Imagine. I have Double Fantasy. I love Double Fantasy. I don't have this. I know the song Imagine, of course, who doesn't? But I don't have this album. And so, uh, very excited to to get this. I just watched the um, Beatles Anthology series on DVD, so I'm all into Beatles right now which you'll see with my two other things I got. Yeah, I'm almost complete. I now have the White Album, I have Revolver, I have a couple others, and now I've finally got, oh, I've got Let It Be, I've got Sgt. Pepper, and I've got Abbey Road. I have all the, I need, I guess I need Rubber Soul still, uh, which is a great album, but very excited about these. These were 10 bucks, which isn't bad for a used copy. Um, I had to cl I'll clean them up. The, the, they're a little beat, but I don't mind that at all. I, again, 10 bucks versus 20 bucks. I'll, I'll roll the dice. Such a good album. Such a good album. And Abbey Road, couldn't, by a lot of people, consider their best. I personally like White Album better, but uh, I'm excited to give it, again, $10. Excited to get this. This has a lot of good songs. Uh, I want you... Na, 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 na. I want you so bad. Na, 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 na. Want you. Anyway, so I got some Beatles. I got some stuff. I'm excited. So I'm going to play some records. 
Um, what did you get lately? What's your favorite? What's your go-to? What's your Holy Grail albums and all that stuff? What's your favorite record shop where you live? Break it down in the comments and click that subscribe. We're going to talk more about records, audio stuff, comic books. Yeah, dude, art of comics. We're going to talk comics. Uh, I just did, I finished uh, In Call, Wonder Woman. We got a bunch of new comics to talk about. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great one.